you could spend the entire weekend here in downtown Orlando. We're gonna be visiting a lot of the great little downtown areas. Do you know how many properties we're gonna sell in this market? This is the most luxurious rental property I think I've ever been in. This is really, really interesting right here. The search is over, baby. I'm right here, and I got Welcome to Selling Florida with the Robert Flack team. Florida is a very good real estate market. What a place to live. You can do everything. We want you to come with us. Florida dream, right? I got it. You literally have everything. It's not about the home. It's about the lifestyle. Yeah. Oh, You've got so much going on just right here, right? What a place to party. Let's get started right now. Welcome to my hometown, Orlando, Florida. I'm Dan Walters. And I'm Kat Flanagan, and this is Selling Florida. Kat, we have a great episode today. There's so much about Orlando that I love as my hometown that probably people don't know about. So there's more to Orlando than just shopping and theme parks? I love how you say shopping first. Yes, there's shopping and theme parks, but there's so much more, Kat. We're gonna see some great restaurants, some outlying areas of Orlando. People that might not know about it. There's a lot of hot pockets here that we have got to show off. We're gonna check out a couple of houses. You know what, let's just get this episode started. Cat, not a better place to start than right here in downtown Orlando. I can see why we started off here. You've got the charm of older buildings, really great restaurants. What else is there to do around well, I'll here? I'll tell you this place on a Friday, Saturday night, or any game night, the Orlando Magic Amway Arena is just behind us. A lot of shopping, a lot of bars, a lot of restaurants. The nightlife in downtown Orlando is second to none. Everything right at your fingertips. You've got the History Center, you've got the Public Library. We're sitting in one of the most beautiful parks here in Orlando as well. We've got soccer here in downtown. You've got Lake Eola. There's so much to do. You could spend the entire weekend here in downtown Orlando. What you don't know yet is when it gets a little bit later in the night, this whole place changes again when the restaurants and the bars and the people start coming back in from the offices. So we'll have to come back here tonight, but you've got some other place to show us. Right around the corner, we've got a brand new listing that just hit the market, so I can't wait to show you what that's all about. Well, let's go take a look. Kat, this is very cute. Yeah, we're just five minutes from downtown. We are in this really special area of downtown, lovingly referred to as Soto, south of downtown. And we have this very special listing that just hit the market. It was built in 1952, but you would never know that. It's been remodeled down to the studs, everything brand new. Roof, plumbing, electric, all the bells and whistles. Great schools. Schools, museums, art district, restaurants, nightlife, everything you could possibly want. Yeah, this is very delightful. It looks like it has been completely remodeled. Like I said, taken down from the studs, you'd never know 1952 is when this all started. They opened it up. Here we have a beautiful open kitchen, lots of counter spaces, stainless steel appliances. It really is a great layout. What do we have here, Kat? This is quartz, yes. sturdy. Look at that. <laughs> Very smart to open this up. I like the fact that when you come in here, you can go from the kitchen, I assume a little dining area, right into the kitchen and living room. And a great big, great room, actually. Oh my gosh, Kat, this is amazing. What a great deck area, right? This is perfect for entertaining. You've got the overhead lights, huge patio that continues down the stairs, great for barbecues, good privacy. And again, you're so close to everything. Speaking of, I can't wait to take you to my favorite bar downtown called The Courtesy. Bar? Well, I mean, aren't you feeling parched? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> it is five o'clock somewhere. somewhere. <laughs> I love the downtown area. So vibrant, so many people around. We're coming up on the best kept secret, my good friend Gene's bar called The Courtesy. That's what you were talking about earlier. Yes, and I'm sure he's got something special for us. Well, let's go see Gene. All right, Gene, what do you got in the bottle? That looks pretty interesting. So 
at the courtesy, we have a great selection of American whiskeys and agave spirits and gin. So this is one of my favorite tequilas. This is the uh, Tequila Ocho Reposado. It's a uh, vintage dated tequila. So from year to year, there will be variants in how this tastes depending on harvest. Cheers. Ooh, yeah. Enjoy. That is a sipping uh, tequila. It's very, very yeah. smooth. Very good. What's a couple of good uh, specialty drinks you guys? You know, the, the obviously we're known for our cocktails. We will do a different cocktail list three or four times a year. Courtesy is a well-established bar. Tell us how you got your start. A friend of mine bought this building, and at the time, there was no craft cocktail game in Orlando. We saw this void, so we knew it was overdue. It was nice to kind of be the first one in town. We had a line out the door. So I read that you actually can take the courtesy on the road. Tell us a little yeah. bit about that program. We have a catering license. That gives me the ability to go off-site and bring our bar to a home. We can do anything from in-home cocktail classes to weddings to special events. You said classes. Do you teach? Mixologists? We do. And there is a lot of this like secret handshake stuff in the mixology game. And you had to make sure you pronounced everything right or they're going to be looking down at your, their, their nose at you. And I didn't want any of that. For me, it's why I call this place the courtesy. You know, our tagline is the pleasure is ours, the courtesy is yours. That's why we really go out of our way to make sure that everybody behind this bar is engaging and allows you to ask questions. Right. The courtesy is such a unique experience. Thank you so much for explaining it to us and, and letting us into your little world. It's my pleasure. Thank you for being here. All right, Kat, what's really funny is when I moved here 15 years ago, this is one of the first places I came, right here in Winter Park. Who knew Winter Park had a Central Park? It does. We are in Central Park, and this park, they are having on weekends every Saturday, they have a farmer's market, they have the annual arts festival. They've got so much that goes on in this park, and it's in the heart of Winter Park. This is just one of many parks that Park Avenue has to offer. We're going to be visiting a lot of the great little downtown areas. We just came from downtown Orlando, and these are going to feel a little different. And the brick lined streets look incredible. It dates back to the 1885, I believe. The Orlando was established in 1875. As a matter of fact, Rollins College, which is right here, is the oldest college in Florida. We're going to get back to Hey, Kat. Debbie, it's good to Debbie. see you Welcome back to the Alpha and Inn. Thank Welcome. you so Thank much you. for having us. Again, the place looks awesome. What a stunning, stunning hotel. So Debbie, tell us where did the name come from, the Alphon Inn? Well, the, the Alphon family donated $12.5 million to Rollins College with a business plan attached that basically said, take this money, build a hotel where 100% of the, the revenue coming into the hotel after net operating expenses goes towards the scholarship fund at Rollins College, the Alphon Scholarship Fund. And, and where did the artwork come from? That's all from the Alphon family as well. Um, it's all contemporary museum quality art. There's over 450 pieces in the collection, and it's actually an extension of Rollins Museum of Art. So there's art not just here in the lobby, there's art throughout, throughout the, hotel. the hotel. And we're actually walking into our signature space, which is called the Conservatory. And actually, this art piece that you see hanging from the ceiling is a commissioned piece from a gentleman out of Argentina. And as the sun changes during the day, you'll see different colors throughout, prisms of color. It's absolutely beautiful. This is really, really interesting yeah, right beautiful. here. So Debbie, I see that there's some construction or something going on, so what's the plan? Absolutely, so we are expanding the hotel. We're adding an additional 71 guest rooms, 2,000 square feet of meeting space, a second pool, a full spa, as well as a cafe that will have croissants and coffee in the morning and wine and dessert in the evening. Well, I know you must have worked up an appetite, so let's head to Hamilton's Kitchen, our restaurant. I definitely worked up an appetite. How did Hamilton's get its name? 
So Hamilton Holt was the longest running president for Rollins College, and so we decided to name the restaurant after him. He and his wife were very hospitable, would invite people over to their home for dinner every night to the point where they ran out of chairs and you'd have to bring your own chair. So you're gonna notice in the restaurant that we have several different types of chairs. So it kind of tells a story there. B-Y-O-C. 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 That's That's new for you. (laughs) But here you won't have to do that. But Chef Steven has something delicious planned for you. Chef Steven, this looks amazing. This is a beautiful restaurant, beautiful food. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, thank you, welcome. Thank you. (laughs) Uh, First of all, we have on our summer menu is a Calera salad. I have toasted pistachios on there, drunken goat cheese, heirloom tomatoes, some chives, and creme fresh dressing on top, which we created here at Hamilton's. Nice and fresh, nice and light. And then moving on to the entree, we have some gorgonzola mashed potatoes, pan-seared bone-in pork chop, maple glazed Brussels sprouts, and a red wine gastrique. What is it that you that inspires you with these dishes? I mean, look at my area where I come to work every day. It's beautiful. I have a great office, great clientele. They give me feedback on what they want. I use fresh local ingredients. This is grown right here in Orlando. The pork chops come from Miami. A lot of inspiration around me, so. Well, Chef, thanks for showing us the restaurant today, these lovely dishes. I can't wait to dig in. I'm ready to sample. You're ready to sample? Invite her too. Well, you guys enjoy, okay? Thank you, Thank you so right. much. Appreciate you. Yep. So Dan, here we are in downtown Winter Garden. This is one of the most charming downtowns we've been to. Beautiful streets, see the beautiful gardens. I've heard of the West Orange Trail, it's like 36 miles. 36 miles, biking, walking, running, great for exercising, getting outside. And what I know is this is part of the West Orange Trail. We're literally on the West Orange Trail right now. There's definitely lots to see here. Just wait till I bring you to one of my favorite spots in Winter Garden, Pammy Sammy's. You'll never have a better burger. It's literally right over here. Hi. Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you. I've been bragging about you, Pam. This is Dan. Dan, good to see you. I'll take a hug as well. Absolutely. Thank you. This is. Oh my gosh, excuse me, real quick. This is so cool. This yeah. is like my time. I've got this one. Wow. This is like a rock and roll museum in here, Pam. It kind of is. You get a blast from the past and where you look, you know, it's like, what? There's so much to see. How did Pammy Sammy's get its start? We started at a little shop over in Universal Studios on the back lot. I was terrified because all I was was a caterer then. I didn't actually have a restaurant and they said, well, in order to get this space, you have to open a deli or something. I'm like, how hard could that be? (laughs) (laughs) It's hard. (laughs) The whole thing's been a learning process and I've loved every good and bad minute of it. The decor here is super cool. So heavy music theme, music important. A lot of music, very important. My husband and I, we don't go to on vacation, we go to concerts. Everything in here has a story behind it, and if it doesn't, I'll make one up. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell us about some of these signature dishes. Sure. Well, this is the Sunrise Burger, bacon, eggs, burger, cheese. The Flower Child. That is beautiful, by the Thank way. You. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. It is, and it's all edible. And I'm seeing Fritos. On Fritos, <laughs> yes. It's a fried bologna sandwich. What's next for Pammy? Well, our mission is feed the soul, craft with love, and serve from the heart. Hospitality is the best thing on our menu. This is awesome right here. I mean, right on just off Plant Street down in the Winter Garden. It's absolutely gorgeous. Thanks for being with us today, letting us come in and see what you have. Yeah. And and this is really special. Thank you. All right, Kat, here we are in downtown Windermere. This is actually one of my favorite places. I live less than seven minutes, eight minutes from here. 
It's so beautiful, the trees, the canopies. I see all these little shops around. What are some of the favorite places you have along the way? Well, my coffee shop's right up here, so I think we should probably stop at Paloma's and have some coffee. But you notice this is not the traditional downtown that we've been seeing where it's just shop, 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 shop. They've kept this very quaint and quiet. It's all about nature. I know this is a very popular area, but it has that small town feel. I saw a couple of dirt roads even. This town was incorporated in 1888, and really they don't want it to grow and be massive. And so yes, you get off the main street here, and it's dirt road still. What are some other areas and hot spots that you know of? Just coming down here on the weekend and just walking around. There'd be people everywhere, festivals going on. It's all about nature in downtown Windermere. Totally different feel. I love that small town kind of homey feel they have and pretty awesome coffee too. Oh, great coffee, no question about it. And just down the road, you can go into these large gated communities where there's professional athletes, golfers, celebrities, and you'll see them walking down the streets here on the weekend with their families. Everybody's out and about on the lakes and being outside in nature. That is what Windermere is really about. This is the place. Wonderful food. When you open the door, your mouth is going to go, oh my gosh. And when you meet Fish, the owner, you're going to say, oh my gosh. Is he a character? He's more than a character. He's well, I like characters. the sign. It says open till nine-ish or when the party ends. Let's go inside. I can't wait. All right, hey Fish, how are you? What's going on? Good to see you. How are you doing? Me, Cap. Hey, Cap. Nice, nice to meet, to meet you. you. Learned so much about you. That's good. Hope we don't believe all of it, okay? Just believe <laughs> the good parts. Half of it. <laughs> but I'll tell you, I've been excited to show her this place. We're anxious to have some food, get to know you a little bit better. Tell us your story. I'm excited you're here. All right, Fish, I've been telling her about the menu. Tell us you mean this one? <laughs> that one. It's a little big for the size of us, but over the years since I've been open, I keep adding stuff that people like. So that's why it's a little bit bigger than, than most people would think for the size of the restaurant that we are. You say over the years. Tell us your story. You know, great segue there. So I started Yellow Dog Eats in 1995 on Park Avenue, Winter Park. Had no idea. Yeah, I went to actually culinary school when I was in my early 20s. Ended up back in Winter Park, which is where I'm from. And then started Yellow Dog Eats in 95. So it's nice to be a part of this community for now over 20 years. But the real version of Yellow Dog Eats is my personal golden retriever, who lived to 17 and a half. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It seems like a place to hang out too. So you've got live yeah. entertainment a couple nights a week? We do. We stopped doing music for a little while, but I think we're going to start up back in November. We'd love to see some food. We'd love to eat some food, I'd not love, just I'd see it. I'd love to eat some food. <laughs> okay, good. I'm so good. let's place an order and I want to see something out back as well. I want to show you out back. It's awesome. awesome. Yeah. I can see why you love this place. Well, it's not just about the food. Look at this. Such an eclectic vibe. Who's the brain behind the names on the menu? My employees probably have more to do with the names lately than the original stuff that we kind of have on the menu. For special today, his name is Tina's Tuna. After one of our employees, he used to love our tuna fish, so I like to see him be creative because we're all creative here at the dog. But your team, they take on your personality, and I'm not sure if that's good or bad. <laughs> it's a mixed review. <laughs> but when you walk in, they re it's truly a fun place to come into, and you walk in, you feel at home. Well, that's great to hear, and I appreciate the compliments. So we have made a lot of changes over the 22-plus years we've been here, but we still keep the vibe, we still keep authenticity, and we still have a funky Motley Crue staff. But I'm proud of them for having the passion that I do. It's nice to see some of my passion rubbing off on them. Well, I'm excited to watch you guys eat. I'm going to sit right here Great, and watch you guys eat. Great, you're going to sit. Like, just like this. I'm a really slow eater. That's a long time. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to sit. sit. <laughs> what a great place. Thanks for having us today. My We're pleasure. My excited. pleasure. Excited. Thanks it's for spending quite some time. an experience. Time. Here we 
are in downtown celebration. This is absolutely beautiful, Kath. Yeah, it sure is. And this is actually probably one of the most unique downtowns we've been to because it's the newest. It is. So this entire celebration area was designed by the Disney and architects. And you'll see what's really unique about this area is the architecture. I mean, the Disney has sprinkled a little bit of magic everywhere and when they designed it. Very Art Deco feeling. One of the really great things about this area is the rental income opportunity. I'm actually gonna go meet up with Deborah, one of our agents. She just closed on a property with her clients in celebration. Do you know how many properties we're gonna sell in this market? Maybe 350? We're gonna sell over 500 properties this year in this market for over 150 million. So we love the Orlando area. That's why our corporate office is here. So go say hi to Deborah, have fun, and let's meet back up at the Columbia restaurant in about an hour. Um, I'm gonna be so ready for that. Let's do it. Sounds good. Coming. Thank you for having me. Welcome uh, to this beautiful stay. I had to make sure I was in the right place. This is a rental property? Yes, it can be a rental property. It can be utilized as a primary residence. This is the most luxurious rental property I think I've ever been in. I agree. Clearly, it's been built for entertaining. Tell me a little bit about the amenities. Tell me about the home. As you can see, the entertainment area just as itself as a living room with the kitchen, open space, is an open floor plan and high ceilings. And we are seven bedrooms, eight bath. Perfect. And I see a pool table over here. Yes, a pool there, table. Is there any other special rooms? And uh, we do have a converter garage where they adapt it to a movie theater, game room with lots of entertainment and in a way where you can really spread out the families as far as uh, having some space and enjoy the time. I don't mean to keep repeating myself, but are you sure this is a rental property? Yeah. Wow, look at these finishes. And the property comes like this. It's all set it up does. and ready to go. It comes with everything you see here. Oh, you need to pack your suitcase. I'm ready. Sign me up. Wow, this is an outdoor area built for entertaining. I see the basketball court, the game room continues out here. And this is a wonderful income opportunity for them. Correct, correct. They are able to utilize the property once they are taking off the rental program, but they can put back on the rental program according with their uh, wishes. Well, thank you again, Deborah, so much my for pleasure. showing us this property. It's really opened my eyes to the income potential of what Celebration has to offer, and who wouldn't want to live in such a beautiful property or have it to rent out. The salad looks great. It does. Yeah. Hey, Can't wait for you. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Get this party started without me. I took the liberty <laughs> no. to order you a salad. <laughs> I knew you. you would like the salad. Looks It's the 1905 amazing. salad. I think it's their, your specialty, right? Yes, it is one of the most famous things in our restaurant. It's kind of our like our bedrock. Oh, look at that salad, Kat. Oh, oh thank there you. We go. Howard, why is it called a 1905 salad? It's because we were founded in 1905 in Ybor City. As you all know, you know, you visited our flagship restaurant in Ybor City not that long ago and got to meet one of the Gonsmart family, and we named this salad after the year we were founded as a company. How long has this one been open in celebration? Uh, this location has been open since 1997. We are the only remaining restaurant in Celebration. So you're the only original restaurant here in Celebration that is correct. still running. Yes. So. Celebration, it, it's a perfect blend of small town, that neighborhood kind of area, mixed in with the hustle and bustle of the, the, the Orlando tourism because we're so close to Disney. We see people from our traditional regulars and neighborhood people that are here all the time to folks from around the world and it's, we cater to everyone. Well, congratulations on your success. You. I personally can't wait to dig in. Thank you again for having oh, us. Our pleasure. Looks great, let's eat. What a great meal we had here at the Columbia Restaurant. 
I know, and Howard has been such a gracious host. I really enjoy the 1905 salad. It has been an absolute great day to get out and to see the different areas that we saw. What was your favorite area you saw today? Wow, there's so many downtowns. I really loved getting out and seeing where our agents are helping their clients sell and purchase homes. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed Winter Park. Part of, I guess I would say, uh, I like downtown Windermere. I, I love the nature, simplicity of the lakes. You can't go wrong. How about cheers to Orlando and all the great downtowns? Great job. This has been a fun day. Thanks, Kat. Welcome home. Beautifully renovated lakefront Maitland home in desirable Lake Yulia Heights community. The interior is open, light, and bright with elegantly placed windows overlooking the lake and large backyard providing plenty of privacy. In the center of the home is a fully exposed brick fireplace with gorgeous stone gray ceramic tile floors throughout the entire home. The kitchen is a cook's dream, totally redone in 2021 with no detail overlooked. Stone countertops, brand new stainless steel appliances, extensive bright white cabinetry with fully exposed oven hood. The master suite is spacious and offers a large closet, fully remodeled bathroom, including a double sink vanity with white marble style ceramic tile shower walls and a unique overlook of the lake directly from the master bedroom window. Don't forget to enjoy your warm cup of coffee or chilled night wine on the beautiful front porch. Nestled in a wonderfully tucked away over half acre of land, conveniently located for I-4 commuters and just down the road from some of Orlando's best restaurants located in Winter Park. Come on down to this beautifully renovated home and enjoy all that Maitland has to offer. two and a half bathroom split floor pan home in idyllic Rialto was used by the builder as a model for the community and has the backyard and designer touches to prove it. Enjoy an upgraded kitchen with white cabinets, bar height island seating, and a gorgeous tile backsplash. This home is modern in style with updated flooring throughout. Rejuvenate in the large primary suite with a Roman tub, separate seamless glass shower, dual sinks, granite countertops, and wood cabinetry. Spend weekends in the stunning heated pool with beach entry and travertine deck. This home in wonderful Rialto is ideally located near the clubhouse, tennis course, and resort-style amenities and multiple pools. Welcome home.